Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making stuffed cabbage soup in a Power XL air fryer grill combo. Alright, I'm starting out with my Power XL. I took the air fryer head off because we're not using that today. I have to sit on saute and it's hot. I'm going to start by putting about a pound and a half of ground beef in here. Now this isn't super lean, it's 80-20. I'm going to have to drain it when it's done browning up. So I'm going to get that in and get this start to uh, starting to brown up. All right, now that my ground beef is about halfway browned up, I have one onion I diced up. We're going to get that in there. We're going to fry that in there until it starts to uh, soften up. All right, now that my ground beef is browned up, I drained off the excess grease and I turned off the uh, Power XL for just right now. I'm going to add in four cups of beef broth. And I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to go back to saute. And I'm going to bring this up to a, a boil on the saute setting. I'm also going to add in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Try not to decorate your kitchen when you do that. A 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes on drained. Give that a stir. Now I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. Add my pepper. We'll go for about a half a teaspoon and three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to start with a teaspoon of salt. You can always add more in if you need to. And I'll grab another spoon and we'll give this a taste for salt. Grab another spoon. Just to hear more salt, we'll try a half a teaspoon. That blend of uh, tomato products and that beef broth give it a really rich flavor, and as this cooks, the flavors will develop more and cook together. For another taste. That's good right there. Now I have one head of cabbage. I cut up into six pieces like this. We're going to get that down in there. And I can hear this starting to come up to the boil. And you just want to push your cabbage down in there because we need to cook this cabbage through. I'm going to put my lid on here. Once this comes up to a rolling boil, I'm going to turn it on saute and put it on the highest saute setting which is like 220 or 212 degrees right at the boiling point and let that go for about 15 minutes watching it so it doesn't cook over but I don't think it will alright what I did is I turned this down on simmer and the highest it was was 212 and it was at a gentle simmer so if you have the time let it go on simmer for about a half hour but I turned it on saute 300 was the lowest setting with the lid on we didn't have any of that evaporation you can see my cabbage is cooking nicely now I'm going to add some rice in here. I pre-cooked some rice in my rice cooker earlier. And we're going to add that in. If you want, you can add some raw rice in when you add the uh, cabbage in. and just cook it in there. That's about two cups of rice. I'm going to give that a stir. A little bit of rice goes a long way, guys. And I think I'm just going to let that right there, two cups of rice. 
Now that rice will help thicken this up a little bit. I'm gonna put my lid back on here and give this about five more minutes. Then my cabbage should be completely cooked and it should be ready to go. My soup cooked for a total of 20 minutes. It's finished, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got. You could serve sour cream cheese over this, even some guacamole, but I'm just gonna eat it natural like this. Get in here and get a piece of cabbage to start out with. Well, this is hot, guys. Cabbage is tender, not mushy. Picked up that delicious tomato sauce flavor. Let's get a little rice and beef here. A little piece of cabbage. Oh, cabbage bailed out. The soup is beefy, has that nice cooked tomato flavor. Well seasoned, not over seasoned. Rice is tender, picked up the flavor of that sauce. Guys, that's really delicious. One pot meal wasn't hard at all. All right, there you have it. Stuffed cabbage soup in a Power XL air fryer grill combo. Thanks for watching and supporting me. And remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.